smaller one. What is this MR2? So my MR2 I bought last year and it needed everything. So it needed paint, it needed a uh, rebuild or a motor, it needed headlights, taillights, it, it needed bodywork, everything. So I, what I did was I rebuilt the motor initially uh, because of the pre-cat failure that it had. What the failure is, is that the pre-cats have a tendency to break apart. Pre-cats break apart, then the material gets sucked back in through the uh, valves and then it chews up the cylinder walls. I rebuilt the, initial, uh, the first motor ran for a little while and then it started burning oil and then eventually spun a bearing. After doing that, I figured I had a couple options. One of them was to buy a just another 1ZZ and hope it didn't burn oil. Or I could buy a 2ZZ, which is the Celica and the Lotus Elise motor. Well, needless to say, I went with that option. So I went ahead and did that swap, got it all together. The first day I had it out, I got hit. Uh, luckily I had, on my insurance, I had um, uninsured drivers. Ordered some panels from Japan, well, not really Japan, California, just as far. Got those in, uh, sanded them down, did a little bit of body work on them just to make sure they were all nice and smooth. Painted them the same color with the same paint. Uh, and then everything was pretty much good. Right after that, I pulled the valve cover because I was gonna replace the lift bolts. Um, because that's a, something that can go wrong in the 2ZZs, is the lip bolts. Basically it's just two bolts for the, uh, the lift system, which is a, it's like a secondary cam that hits at the higher revs. I went to do that and I realized, oh, my cams have rust all over the lobes. That's not good. And when I say rust, I mean really, really bad rust. I got a hold of the company that I bought the motor from initially, uh, and I, after some, you know, pulling of teeth, basically, they decided they would pay for the cams. I, I wanted to go ahead and get it done, so I just ordered a full new head for the motor, uh, got it all switched out, all that done, and. I didn't have lift, so I said, well, this is weird. The entire head is new, and um, I still don't have lift. Drove it for a little while, uh, and then I spun a bearing. The craziest part about it was when we took it apart, there was rust all over the crank. So I was actually amazed it ran that long. Rust in between the bearings and the, the uh, crankshaft journals, uh, pit marks everywhere. It was bad. And then... I went and bought a donor car a little while back, so I took the crank out of it, which was, may or may not have been a mistake, I'm not entirely sure. I got it all back together again on standard bearings and everything, and went out to hit lift because we had determined that the actual reason it wasn't hitting lift was actually the ECU. When it hit lift, it came back down from lift with a rod knocking, so yeah. I had a few options. I was almost out of money for the swap. I was over budget what I wanted to go. I could do a new crank, new new rods, uh, new bearings, because it only spun the rod bearings. Uh, so my other option was to buy the motor that's currently in it, uh, which was just a 1ZZ that I knew didn't burn oil from the friend that had the ECU. I did that, got it in, really had issues. So that's how this car went from nothing to where it is today, which is a fully daily drivable MR2. So I will see you all in the next video.